The World Cup might be in full swing and we might be approaching Christmas, but one person in slightly less of a Christmassy mood is this man. Cristiano Ronaldo, the international of Portugal, has split up with Manchester United. Uh, I make that sound like it's a divorce, don't I? So with that in mind, I thought it'd be rather interesting to hop into Football Manager to make Cristiano Ronaldo a free agent on the day it is right now in real life in game. So it is November 22nd as I sit and record this. The World Cup has started in this universe and Cristiano Ronaldo, age 37, is now a free agent agent. Now naturally in Football Manager I can't get all the real results and stuff in game but what I will say is Manchester United in this simulation are in sixth and Ronaldo has not been a massive part of their team. It is worth acknowledging the World Cup is going on, Portugal are in it, Ronaldo is in their squad, we will keep an eye on how they get on and we'll see what club he ends up going to. I've got MLS active, all the top European leagues, what does Football Manager think his next move's going to be? Let's find out shall we? I figured I'd go to the start of January and the January transfer window to see if an early move had been made, maybe make a, a transfer decision whilst on international duty, but that's not happened. He's still a free agent. He is wanted by someone. That someone is PSG. Now, I did fear this might be the case. Of course, Ronaldo's wages in Football Manager and in real life were rather large at Manchester United. There's not that many teams that are feasibly going to be able to afford him, but PSG are the only team currently interested. And well, things for Ronaldo, not much better at the World Cup. Portugal didn't make it out their group. Ghana and Uruguay make it out as well. They crashed out in the group stage with South Korea. Eventual winners, by the way, England. You could say it's coming home, although if you watch the video I did where I made every single Premier League manager, England manager, you'll know more often than not, it, it definitely didn't come home. Presumably Ronaldo is going to have to get a move in the next month. I'm going to join you guys at the end of the January transfer window. We'll see if he's got a move to PSG or maybe somewhere more exotic. Maybe no one will take a chance on him. Let's go find out. So according to Football Manager, Cristiano Ronaldo's next club will be PSG. PSG. <laughs> It's not the most interesting of results, is it? That's right. He has signed an 18-month contract on £100,000 a week. It has an optional one-year extension that the club can trigger, which means he is going to be playing for them potentially until he's 40 years old. Now, since his move in January, bear in mind it is February the 1st, he has already made two appearances, both off the bench. 6.9 rating for him isn't exactly impressive. As for PSG themselves, they are top of Liga, not exactly surprising. Lionel Messi leading the way with assists, and Mbappe right up there with goals. I mean, you can only assume that Ronaldo's going to thrive here, right? Whilst I don't necessarily think this is what is going to happen in real life, there is part of me, the romantic, that likes the idea of Messi and Ronaldo, two players who have butted heads so consistently throughout their careers, having one last swan song together. I suppose naturally, the aim for PSG is going to be to win the Champions League. Can Ronaldo guide them to that in the first knockout round? They've got into Milan. They should make it through that game, you'd think. I'll join you at the end of the season. Here we are at the end of the 2023 season. Ronaldo has had six months there or thereabouts to make his stamp on this team. And well, PSG have won the league. Um, not sure Ronaldo can take much credit for it. They kind of had already won it anyway by the end of January. Over in the Champions League, let's acknowledge it, PSG lost 4-1 to Inter Milan, who went on to make it all the way to the final and lose 2-0 to Barca. Inter and PSG, they drew the first leg 1-1 away from home. Not a bad result for PSG, really. You might be wondering, was Ronaldo involved in this game? Uh, he wasn't. He was on the bench. In the second leg, absolutely everything went wrong. I don't know if Ronaldo can be blamed, though. Didn't start this game. Did he come on off the bench? I'm looking for him. Where is he? He didn't play again. They lost 3-0, by the way, at home. They did have the better XG, but that doesn't win you matches. Looking at Ronaldo at the end of this season, worth noting, he has actually made two sub-appearances in the Champions League. That probably means he was subbed on in the last 10 or so minutes as just a final roll of the dice to try and get stuff. Because he came on so late, he didn't get a match rating. That said, I mean, his stats overall, not great, really. 14 appearances. Now, he only started five games, to be fair to him, and but only three goals. I feel like at PSG, you'd expect him to get a lot more than that. And in fact, looking at one of the games that he did start in, he started as a lone striker with Neymar and Messi behind. To be fair, in this game against Lille, he was a little bit of a difference maker. So far, PSG haven't extended his contract by that optional extra year they've got. At 38 years old, 
He's not had a great first six months, let's be honest, but he's got at least one more year to prove himself. Ronaldo this year in Football Manager did get a pretty hefty downgrade. Do you feel like that's impacting his performance? That said, maybe there's still time for him to turn it around. I'm going to join you guys at the end of next season, 2024. Let's see how it's looking. One year later, you can see it in the top corner. He's retiring. He's retiring in July, at the end of what I assume is the European Championship, given the fact it's 2024, Portugal are in the Euros. Is he in their squad? Uh, no. Okay, well, he's not in the Euros squad. So there goes my theory as to why he's not retired yet. We are at the end of the season. It is June. He's at PSG. He didn't start a single league game, and he made one sub-appearance in the Champions League. He wasn't given a rating for it. I mean, I can kind of understand why he's retired. If you told me that Ronaldo is going to go to PSG in Football Manager and he'd get four goals in a year and a half in the league, I probably would have laughed at you. But the reality is he just hasn't played. Mbappe is too good. And I think PSG have been rather uncompromising in the system that they play. They like to play this system kind of with the triangle up top, two centre attacking mids behind a striker. And I think because of that, there's just not really room for Ronaldo to play. If you're wondering how PSG season went, it wasn't the most convincing of years. They won Liga, but only by a solitary point over Monaco. They drew nine out of 34 games. So not a great season in that regard. As for things in the Champions League, they made it one step further, but they were knocked out by Napoli, who went on to lose the final themselves. So two years in a row with Ronaldo, PSG have been knocked out by Italian clubs. Not exactly a bombastic way for Ronaldo to end his career, according to Football Manager, but you know what? I don't want to end things here. We're going to go and see if he retires and becomes a member of staff. See if he can get a job elsewhere. I'll join you once he's officially retired, and we'll see if he's got a job or not. Okay, Ronaldo has now retired at age 39. He thinks he's an assistant manager. Kind of curious to see if he can get a job off the back of it. His stats on the whole aren't exactly great. I have no idea why he only has one attacking coaching. Okay, I'm going to holiday forward a year, see if he gets a job. We'll see where he ends up next. Meanwhile, while I go forward, go down in the comments, leave your prediction. Where will Ronaldo's career take him next? Is Football Manager onto something with this PSG malarkey? Or do you see him going to MLS? Or maybe somewhere in Europe? Answers on a postcard. Let me know. I'll join you guys in a mo. That wasn't rehearsed, by the way. I'm a lyrical freestyler. Just want to interject that in. You know that trope in TV shows where the characters have a time machine and they go to the wrong period in time? Not done that, but I am three years in the future. It's 2027, no one's given Ronaldo a job. It's almost as if doing an interview with Piers Morgan leaves you with a stigma, isn't it? Anyway, folks, I think we'll leave things here for today. Bit of a different video, something a bit reactionary to the football news going on in real life, but hopefully you enjoyed it nevertheless. We are going to have more Football Manager Simulates coming soon, so keep an eye out for those coming to the channel. As I mentioned earlier, over the weekend we did a video where every single Premier League manager was given a chance to manage England at a World Cup. Lots of you loved it. Go check that one out. Besides that, take it easy. I'll see you on the next one. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you want to see more of this in your sub box, hit the, the subscribe button and maybe even the bell. And until next time, it's me, Jack, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.